Joe, you're watching Southwest London TV and welcome to Twickenham, a place you might associate a little bit more with rugby than you would with high fashion, but it's time to think again. 50 years ago, the Stones and David Bowie got their big break here and yet again, maybe it's time for Twickenham to be part of a cultural movement as London Ethnic have come here to host a pop-up fashion show to show some ethically sourced jewellery and pieces to the people of Southwest London. Let's take a look. We're joined now by Shoman Carr, who's one of the organisers of the pop-up boutique today. Shoman, tell us what the idea behind it was and why Twickenham? Um, well, the idea behind it is uh, it's London Ethnic. It's providing um, London designers the opportunity to showcase their work uh, to the world and for people to be able to buy London designs. Mm. Richmond's a great area, Twickenham, Chiswick. Um, these are fantastic areas where people like they love their fashion and also they're like proud to buy British, uh, they want to support London designers, um, so these areas are fantastic for us. People are becoming more and more aware of um, the, the kind of ethical side of fashion and how um, th there are people who are working in really horrible conditions around the world in, in the name of bringing you your clothes. So you think it's possible for there to be sort of ethically sourced London designed British clothes? Uh, around the world. Do you think it's possible to export that? Yeah, absolutely. I think there's a really big market. We, we're on Facebook and we're getting like a thousand new likes a week um, and from people all around the world who they just love, um, you know, they love David Beckham, they love like the Olympics, they, yeah. love, they just love London uh, and they love Britain but they want to buy British products. Right, we've come backstage where the magic happens to the makeup room and I'm lucky enough to be joined by one of the glamorous models from today's pop-up show for London Ethnic, Laura. Thank you for chatting to us. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah. What designers are you wearing today? Today I'm wearing Kieran and I'm wearing Carlotta mm -hmm. um, and my own shoes. <laughs> now I understand you're in pretty good company when it comes to Carlotta. There's some famous folk who've been out and about wearing her stuff. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we've um, actually had Chalissa from uh, X Factor wearing mm. it and Nikki. <laughs> okay, wow. Yeah, so pretty, some pretty fashionable people. So you're in some pretty good company with some glamorous, powerful women. Yeah, I mean Carlotta's <laughs> really into creative, bold prints and that's basically the, the, the root of her design. So I think uh, those kind of people love that. And she's a Southwest London girl herself, isn't yeah. she? And you're obviously a very fashionable lady. I'm a fashionable gent. Anyone can see that, right? Um, but for people who maybe aren't, can you give sort of one fashion tip that people can use that might make them look better pretty easily? Yeah, um, I love baggy plain t-shirts, you know, mm. coupled with tight black jeans or something kind of punky almost. But I always couple it with, you know, a chunky necklace just to, you know, uh, style it up a bit. Well, I've unfortunately left my chunky necklace oh, at home. But <laughs> uh, Laura, thank you so much for chatting to us. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'm looking forward to seeing you sort of out doing your catwalk thing a little bit later. Great. Thank nice you. Meet. I'm here with Kevin Ackerman, who had a career change from an evil banker to a social entrepreneur, and he's here to tell us today about ethically made jewellery. So we work with organisations both in Shanghai and Nepal that work with survivors of human trafficking, and as part of their reintegration they teach the women how to make jewellery so that they learn new skills to eventually get out there into the world and, and yeah, start to dream again and really build up that self-esteem in order to yeah, like do something meaningful with their lives again. I uh, kind of thought, well, why not set up a business that could make profit but also could do so much good. What we do is with the women that we work with, um, in those workshops they learn how to make the jewellery and uh, when they make a piece such as this one here they are able to create something which eventually also re reflects their inner beauty and um, through that we want to create this strong connection between the ones making the jewellery and the ones buying it so it's, it's definitely a very unique and, and has an incredible story behind it. Kevin, thank you so much. It's been a real, real pleasure. Really inspiring stuff. Thank you. Cheers, Kevin. Cheers, thanks. Well, there you have it. What a lovely afternoon we've had right here in picturesque Twickenham. And haven't we learned a lot at the London Ethnic pop-up fashion show? We now know what a social entrepreneur does. We know that Nicki Minaj and Talisa get their clothes from South West London. And we found out you can look good for a fair price and treat people right while you do it. What a great afternoon we've had. This is Joe Forrester, South West London TV. See you next time.